Welcome to this seminar on upgrading your Windows 7 to Windows 10. This computer, as you can see, is already Windows 10. This happens to be my layout of my computer now that I've done the upgrade. I'm going to show you a brief PowerPoint presentation of the upgrade process and how it worked out for me. It took about an hour, but that's not how long this seminar is going to be taking. So um, this is our slide one, Windows 7. This is just a picture of my computer before we got started. Okay. And uh, when we got started, we just simply clicked on the little Windows uh, 10 upgrade button in the lower right corner to get into this screen here. Once I clicked on that, the screen came up. See, I had already done the download. In the background, I didn't have to do that, so that's an hour or two of download that was already done. It was just ready for me to go. I had already done the reservation before. I had already checked the compatibility, which was one of the options that had come up along the way. All I have to do is to move on and say, Let's get started. So uh, when you do click on the Let's Get Started button, it continues to download for a bit. Um, before I got started, I was um, I believe that it would take about two hours to do. So before you do this, make sure that you've got about two hours. In the end, it only took me about one hour. This computer was... Uh, fully ready to go, and uh, and it uh, moved quickly through the different steps. So uh, the first phase does quite a bit of, uh, let's say, um, uh, circle spinning, I guess you'd call it. And then uh, that goes on for a while, and then we go on to a pair of screens where it asks for you to accept the license agreement, and then hit the button to um, to begin the process. And this also goes through a preparation stage to prepare your computer for installation. And uh, this seems to have taken, oh, maybe 20 minutes. It's a little bit hard to tell, okay? And then as it proceeded, you know, uh, that part of configuring for the upgrade happened, and then it moved into this upgrading Windows thing, and you can see I took a screenshot when it was just 9%. This seemed to be the longest process. Uh, it automatically went from configuring to upgrading without having to touch it. So let's say if you walk away from the computer an hour at this point, it'll be done waiting for you to come back to it but you might find it exciting, like watching paint dry. Uh, after the upgrade is complete, here you can see uh, it was 81% when I took another picture, and then sometime later, uh, the ready to configure the new installation came up, and this was looking for me to uh, acknowledge that it had gotten to this point. So uh, there was an upgrade at this point as well. So, so this was after configuring and upgrading. And then um, it does proceed to a couple of question and answer sections where we get a chance to pick some options to keep going, yeah. uh, configure my apps, and uh, which you know we used to call programs, configure the user. It's just a matter of uh, clicking, answering the question, and moving on. So it's a multi-step type of operation. And we're actually already into about 45 minutes of the, of the whole installation. This last part takes maybe 10 minutes. It, uh, then in its final stages, it shows a couple of different screens uh, we're setting things up for you. This won't take so long. 
we're taking care of things. That sort of screen just continues for several minutes in that way. And then, voila. There are two final screens here. The last thing it says, just a few tweaks. And then it does the complete thing here. And this has not been configured the way I want it yet. This was just the first look. Uh, then I made some configurations of the screen myself, you know, and uh, and on this main screen, I've pressed on the start button, and you can see the start button the way it was configured as a result of the configuration. Windows 10 has a taskbar on the bottom. It has this, these notification areas here on the right side, start button here on the left corner. Uh, you can have icons on the screen, but you have these pull-up icons like Windows 8 has. So you can have a pretty neat desk if you want. So the whole process took me about a little bit more than an hour in all. But once you get it up, you want to get updates right away. You want to restart the machine. You want to configure and make sure your your um, you know, the configuration of your antivirus is still up and running. Get some updates for the for that. Restart the machine again. Uh, look for more updates. There may be series of updates waiting for you, and um, that's pretty much the way it goes. Here's my final screen. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, good luck with this. I have, at this point, installed probably 18, uh, 18 times uh, Windows 10. This time it was my own computer, so I have lots of experience already doing this. Uh, one instance, I did revert back to Windows 7 because some things didn't seem to be working right. I then fixed Windows 7 and then upgraded that computer again to Windows 10. And so that computer worked out just fine after the upgrade. So that's the way it goes, and um, and then this is my screen again. I'm very happy with the way it's working. I've checked out all my programs, and I look forward to uh, hearing your comments. Have a great day.